Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a makeup on this look. Um, this is literally just made up on the spot and I just felt like doing something purple because I've never actually done purple eyeshadow before. So I just thought I would come on here today and just do a quick look on this. Um, if you do um, want to know how to get this look, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So first off, I start off with priming my skin. I'm using the Barry M Pixie Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir. Um, I use this on my T-zones, um, especially where you have pores. Um, it reduces imperfections and fine lines. And then I move on to um, setting my face with translucent powder. The powder that I use is the one from Aspawn. Um, I got it from Amazon, it's really affordable. So I did skip some bits and I did my um, eyebrows um, quickly. I did fast forward it. Then I went on to um, priming my eyelids with the uh, concealer and starting off with the um, the base, uh, well, the first colour I use in the eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, um, which is the purple. Uh, the palette I'm using is the one from Patricia Bright. Um, it's the um, eyeshadow palette that I got a while ago. Okay, so um, fun fact, I have attempted to do a cut crease here. I've never actually done a cut crease, but I've seen so many like videos on people doing cut creases and it looks so good. So I've attempted to um, do that. Like this is a work in process, so please forgive me. I'm not really good at doing eyeshadows generally, so that's something I'm trying to get into. But this is me here <laughs> attempting to do the cut crease with the concealer. Okay, so I'm literally just wondering why I still got powder all over my face. I was meant to blend this in. Um, so yeah, um, try to ignore that. And um, then I went in with the transition colour. So this is like a darker purple. Um, I've forgotten the names. I'm going to try to see if I can put it in the description box of the, um, the eyeshadows that I did actually use. Sorry, I said blend in. I meant wipe off the powder off my face. Um, and then I had put on the, it's like a shimmery pink colour. So I did a bit of like a, a pink purpley look here. So as you can see where I did the, um, it's meant to be the cut crease. So I put the um, the shimmery pinky um, on my eyelids. I've forgotten the name, but I will include this in the description box. So after that, I had started off by doing my wing eyeliner. Um, I also did my um, eyelashes and put on the white um, eyeliner um, off camera. Um, and then I start off by putting the um, Skin Illuminator from NYX. Um, I put this under my foundation and then I, I didn't actually put foundation on in this. I did, um, it's actually a routine with uh, concealers only, so I didn't wear foundation. So as you do, you conceal underneath your eyes, um, your nose, um, your chin, and also your forehead. Um, also um, under where you um, contour as well, just to give it that more defined look is optional, but I like to do this. I um, then also blend it out. Okay, so now things are kind of coming together. I then go ahead and start contouring. Um, contour my forehead, my jawline, um, also underneath my uh, chin, um, also my cheekbones and my nose, and I blend that out. So now to keep that all in place, I'll go ahead and set that with the powder that I used earlier on in the video. Um, and then I start contouring with powder. So the uh, powder I use is from Sleek and it's the, uh, the contour palette in dark. And I just use that to contour my nose and also um, anywhere that I put the darker concealer to contour. And then I go ahead by putting on the, um, it's a lip gloss, it's the Lip Pumping Lip Gloss from Barry M. Um, and then I just dust off the powder, any powder on my face, and then just blend everything in so it just looks seamless and all blended in. There's no lines um, showing where I've contoured or highlighted. 
so now I'll go ahead and highlight my face. So um highlighting the bridge of my nose, above my lip, um and also my forehead and also like above my cheekbone. So once I'm done highlighting, I just go in with a small brush with powder just to um, blend everything in again, just to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything that's not blended in. And then that's it for the look. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.